Hi, my name is John Kelsey. I'm National Trainer for Hard Hat Industry Solutions. This is a session from our Red Rhino Academy, our complete training course in electrical estimating using Red Rhino software. Welcome to our session on how to update material prices. In this session, we cover how to use a great feature in Red Rhino's purchase order module, which allows you to efficiently get material prices from your wholesaler or vendor and then load them back into your estimate. By the time this session is finished, you will have learned two important new Red Rhino skills. First, how to create a request for a quote to send to your vendors asking them for material prices, and second, how to take the price information you get from your vendor and put it into your estimates. The feature I will be training you to use is request for a quote, commonly known as RFQ. An RFQ is used with a vendor when you're requesting that they provide you with the latest prices for specific materials. It's important to note that an RFQ and a purchase order contain the same information. Because they contain the same information, the Red Rhino feature is included as part of Red Rhino's purchase order module. To use the RFQ feature, you must have already created a new estimate. If you do not know how to do this, I recommend you first view our training video titled Setting Up Red Rhino. For this training segment, we'll start at our home page and we'll begin with an assumption that you've already created an estimate with one or more sections and that materials have been entered into the sections. In other words, you have an estimate in Rhino that includes materials for a job. I will navigate to the example estimate I created for this training session to show you what we will be working with. I click on View My Estimates to navigate to the estimate. I click on the estimate named RFQ Example Estimate to open the estimate we'll use for this session. Again, RFQ is abbreviation for Request for Quote. Note there are two sections in the example estimate. The first section is named Wire Offices. The second section is named Wire 3 Copy Machines. Creating and understanding the use of sections is covered in the seminar Wiring Your Business for Profit. If you do not understand sections, please refer to the seminar. Next, I'll drill down into the Wire Offices section to review the materials to be priced. I click View Takeoff, which takes us to the list of materials. At the top of the page, we see the page name. Since I selected View Takeoff, I cannot edit materials from here, just view or print them. At the top of our page, you will also see the name of the estimate and the name of the section we are viewing. As seen here, it says Take Offer Estimate RFQ Example Estimate Section Wire Offices. There are many material items listed in this estimate. We're going to, I should say, we are viewing this page in order to explain something. When creating an RFQ or a PO, Red Rhino will aggregate the material quantities. In other words, Red Rhino adds all identical materials into one total quantity. There's one exception, which I'll explain in a moment. To illustrate how Red Rhino aggregates materials, notice that line 1 is 90 feet of half-inch EMT, and line 7 is 120 feet of half-inch EMT. When I create a an RFQ, Red Rhino will add these two amounts and display 210 feet of half-inch EMT for the estimate. Red Rhino will also show the total quantity of half-inch set screw connectors and couplings. Here's an exception. Red Rhino will aggregate all lines of like materials as long as you do not change the price on individual lines. If the material price is changed or edited on the estimate, Red Rhino will not aggregate these items of material. They will be displayed on separate lines on an RFQ or PO. Again, lines of material which are changed or edited in the estimate will not aggregate, but will be displayed on separate lines in the PO. Now let's move on to create an RFQ. When I create an, I should say, when I create an RFQ, I'll select the material from the estimate discussed. Next, we return home by clicking the Home button. Now, 
Now assuming you have completed an estimate like the one we just saw, we'll move to the first part of today's training session, how to create a request for quote to send to your vendor requesting material price updates. From the home page, scroll down to the purchase order RFQ box. That's the sixth box down on the left. I will click on new PO slash RFQ. As you can see, the page reads, you have chosen to create a purchase order. Remember these two documents, the RFQ and the purchase order, or PO, are, are essentially the same document. So you follow the same steps to create both initially. This step takes you to the Create Purchase Order page. At the top, the page reads, you have chosen to create a new purchase order from the following choices. Select how you want to create a PO. Below that, you have the following options. Create a Job PO, select Job. Create an Estimate PO, select Estimate. Create a Warehouse PO, select Warehouse. And create a Miscellaneous PO, select Material. We will only cover one option at this time, and that is Create an Estimate PO, select Estimate. So I'll click the little circle with an arrow to the right to select Create an Estimate PO, Select Estimate. Red Rhino will take you to an Estimate Lookup page. The Estimate Lookup page displays estimates that are already in Red Rhino. Next, click on the name of the estimate for which you need an RFQ or PO. Today's example will be using the estimate named RFQ Example Estimate. I'll click on that. On the screen you see the message, you have chosen to create a PO of type Estimate. Here you will see two choices. Select items from Estimate and manual, manually, I should say manually select items. At this time, I will select items from the Estimate. So I click the circle to the right, select items from Estimate. This takes us to a screen where at the top left says Estimate section. At the far left there are boxes that you can check and at the far right are buttons Select, check all and uncheck all. Since there are two sections in the estimate I'm using for this example, you see the two section names on the page, wire offices and wire three copy machines. At this point we select the sections we want included for pricing. You can either click the boxes at the far left to check them or you can use the check all button. I prefer to use the check all button. So I'll click the check all button. When I do the boxes at the left will show check marks. There we go. Next I click the select button and it navigates me to a different page displaying materials in the estimate. At the top left of the page it reads select takeoff items. Also at the top of the page are the P buttons <laughs> also at the top of the page are the buttons PO material report, cost code report, check all and uncheck all. Below the buttons are several columns, each with a header. At the far left is the header that says select, which has boxes below. We check the boxes of the items we wish to include in our RFQ. To the right of the select header, let me say it again, to the right of the select header is the UPC next to that product description, catalog number, manufacturer, UOM, which means unit of measure, and quantity and quantity to purchase. The quantity to purchase is populated with the same quantity as listed in the quantity column. In the case of the RFQ, the quantity to purchase represents the quantity we want quoted. At the far left are boxes that can be checked to select the items of material. This is where you select the items you want to be included in your RFQ. I want to emphasize that when the RFQ or PO is created, Red Rhino will aggregate materials of a kind. I gave the earlier example of half-inch EMT. You may have several entries for half-inch EMT conduit in your estimate. The RFQ will total the amount of half-inch EMT in the entire estimate. Now back to selecting items for pricing. I prefer to click the check all button and uncheck undesirable items. Items you would not include are supports. For instance, supports half inch and three quarter and two. We'll make, it, make sure to uncheck those boxes as they're not selected for pricing. Other items you'd uncheck are 225 MLO or main lug only panel, breaker termination, and three phase floor mount transformer. 
You would likely get those items priced separately with switchgear. In this example, I will not include them for pricing. Mounting hard hardware would also be excluded. Once we've checked the items, we want I should say, once we have checked the items we want and make sure to uncheck the ones we exclude, we click the PO button at the top of the page. Next, you must select a vendor. Red Rhino comes with one vendor set up called Generic Vendor. In an advanced training session, we cover other functions such as select new vendor, find one vendor with the best discounts, or find the best combination of multiple vendors. At the far right, it says select vendor from list. To the right is a drop down that says select vendor. We click the drop down to the right that says select generic vendor. I click the circle with an arrow to the right of the vendor drop down. The materials listed on this page will be included in the RFQ. Now we're ready to create our RFQ or PO by clicking generate PO RFQ button. After clicking the Generate PO RFQ button, we're directed to a page that says IntelliPO Dropship Information in the header at the top. At the bottom, it's, the header says Purchase Order Numbers. First, I will explain the header at the top that says IntelliPO Dropship Information. Since we want an RFQ instead of a purchase order, we will not need to have the material shipped. However, Red Rhino requests, or rather, re, <laughs> Red Rhino requires certain fields to be populated. In order to process this, uh, this, let me say, in order to proceed with this process, okay, the boxes with an asterisk hide them, beside them. Let me start over with that. The boxes with an asterisk beside them are required fields. Since they're required, we must enter information in the box in order to proceed. So I'll type in the word will call in the name and just type in the letter A in each of the fields below that that are required fields. In the boxes to the right, drop ship contact, contact phone and extension are not required so we'll leave them blank. Now at the bottom below where it says purchase order numbers you must type in the PO number. Since we're creating an RFQ, I suggest you type in RFQ in capital letters, then some numbers to follow that, perhaps that day's date. Again, capital RFQ and the day's date. I'll type in 091210. Next, click the Save button. Red Rhino navigates you to a page that says the following purchase order was successfully created. Today's session focuses on updating prices, so I'll cover the creation and use of purchase orders in another session. I will now create, I'll sh I should say, I will now finish creating the PO. We check on underlined view. Red Rhino navigates to the purchase order. We click the RFQ button at the far right. Red Reno navigates you to a page that has buttons at the far right. Check all, uncheck all, print preview, email, and update estimate. Below are materials selected for the estimate for this pricing effort. Now I will demonstrate how to email the RFQ to the wholesale vendor for pricing. We select the items you want pricing for by checking the boxes on the left or click check all. Again I click the check all button. When I do, all items should be checked and included for this pricing effort. Next, click the email button and you'll navigate to a page that allows you to enter your vendor's email address to submit your RFQ. Fill out the top box with your vendor's email address. I also highly recommend you send a carbon copy to yourself so you can have a copy in your email. In order to send yourself a copy, click in the CC box and type in your email address.
You can also type a note to your vendor in the message box. I suggest you let your vendor know your deadline to receive their quote. This sets their expectations when they need to complete the task. Just type a note to your wholesaler. Now, Red Rhino allows you to send the document as a PDF or HTML file. I suggest you send it as PDF because it's often easier to read in print. To send the document PDF, click the Send PDF button. After you click the Send button, Red Rhino takes you back to an RFQ page. You can leave the page by clicking the Home button. Red Rhino will save the PORFQ document. Once you send the email, I recommend you call your vendor to let them know you are requesting pricing and that you emailed the list. Ask them to print out the document, write their pricing on the document, have them scan the document and email it back to you, or if they cannot scan it, have them fax it to you. Now here's an example of what the document looks like to your wholesale vendor. The top says request for quote, below is the materials description and information header. Again you see the header columns at the top. At the far right in the unit price quote column is where your wholesale vendor is to write his quoted prices. Again have them scan it or fax it and send it back to you. Now let's assume you have re received the prices back from your vendor. This is an example of an RFQ priced by a wholesale vendor. Notice in the far right column, unit price quote, how the prices of each item are written in. We now move to the second part of today's training session, how to take the price information you get from your vendor and put it into your estimates. First print out the pricing sheet your vendor sent you. Our next step is to locate the RFQ that was sent to your wholesaler in Red Rhino. From the home page, scroll down to the sixth box on the left again, Purchase Order RFQ. Click View All Estimate POs and RFQs. Scroll down, click View All Estimate POs and RFQs. Red Rhino takes us to a page where estimate POs are listed. The page is titled All Purchase Orders RFQs for Estimate RFQ Example Estimate. If you have several estimate POs, they would be listed here. In this case, I only have one listed. At the far left, it is named RFQ 92110. As we named it again, it's important to name your RFQ so you can easily identify them on this list. At the far right, we'll click the View button to view the RFQ. Again, click the View button to view the RFQ there. Red Rhino opens the purchase order. Next, I click the RFQ button at the right to allow me to type the new prices provided by my vendor in the Unit Price Quote column. Again, print out the pricing sheet your vendor sent you and type in the price you received from your wholesaler in the far right column for each item. Next I'll show an example of RFQ with prices filled in. And right there is the example. Now click the check all button at the top to select all items to be updated in the estimate. Click check all.
And finally, click the Update Estimate button and Rhino will navigate to that estimate and also will update the prices in that estimate. Click on Take Off Edit to verify that Red Rhino updated your pricing. Again, you want to verify that the pricing update did occur. Okay, with this we conclude our training session how to update material prices. In this session, we have seen how to create a request for quote or RFQ to send to your vendors asking them for material prices, and we've seen how to take the price information you get from your vendor and put it into your estimates. Long story short, we showed you how to update your material prices with the latest prices from your wholesale or vendor. This is John Kelsey saying goodbye for now. Thank you for joining me in this session of Red Rhino Academy.